Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to be talking some of the frequently unasked questions about PDQ Deploy and Spiceworks. But anytime you do have a question and you want to make it asked, we'll still answer it. Um, just make, ask your questions in the chat window or you can email them to webcast at adminarsenal.com. Turn it over to Shane. Hey everybody, Shane. Um, Lex is gone today, so uh, we can all be grateful. Let's go ahead and, and start. Uh, uh, let's, let's, let's hit with some um, the unasked questions. Now, obviously, there are some questions that have been asked, and there are some questions that we were kind of surprised in the last few years uh, that haven't been asked. So that's what we want to talk about. So let's go ahead and kick over here. Um, by the way, if you are using uh, Spiceworks uh, in the, the last few releases, I'm talking about 7.4. Anything beyond, I believe, 7.4 uh, build 60, you're going to need to be using PDQ Deploy 6 release 2. There were some changes that were made on the Spiceworks side uh, that made it so that we could not um, sync up Spiceworks groups. But how do we integrate with Spiceworks? First of all, once again, go to, six point, to, to uh, Deploy 6 release 2 if you're using the later versions of Spiceworks. Um, when you configure Spiceworks, you're going to go into uh, the preferences, like, like you do so many times in uh, any time you need to make configuration changes. Anyway, go to the uh, preferences, file preferences, and Spiceworks panel. You can see uh, we've got ours configured here. Uh, our Spiceworks server, in this case, it's called Mia on our Deadwood domain. Um, if you're going to use, obviously, you'll have to hit the, uh, actually go and look at the how you have Spiceworks set up to determine what ports you're going to use. If you wanted to know how you can find out what ports you're used for Spiceworks, um, go to the Spiceworks server, uh, log in down at the bottom right corner on the little taskbar. You, you'll see the Spiceworks um, icon. You can right click on that and go to the uh, uh, preferences, I believe, and you'll see the exact, the exact ports. So anyway, specify your port. We're using 443, which is uh, for SSL. And then the email. Now, what is the email? The email is the... Uh, well, it's the Spiceworks user account. And it has to have the Spiceworks role of admin. Can't just be help desk or reporting or anything like that. It has to have admin. If not, if you don't have the admin role for this Spiceworks user, you're not going to be syncing. Now, a change that we made a few versions ago for um, how we integrate with Spiceworks um, is we now pull down Spice the, the members of Spiceworks groups on an interval. And so that when you actually deploy to those, when you try to pull up the members of those groups within PDQ Deploy, you're actually pulling up uh, a cached version of that. Uh, our default setting is four hours. Now, why were we doing that? We, we had a lot of people who were saying, listen, it, I've got a lot of computers in, in Spiceworks, and when I try to deploy, let's say, by the way, let's go grab the new, the new Flash that just came out. You guys, I'm sure, have heard all the new nasty Flash stuff that's been hitting. We'll grab this and, uh, and that. Perfect. And we'll grab air, free it, no extra charge, why not? So people will say, hey, I'm trying to deploy, but just pulling up the target lists takes six, seven minutes. And that's because uh, the way we would do the way we do this, the way anybody really communicates with Spiceworks, uh, we just make uh, the HTTP calls, basically the get calls, um, and we pull that down from the Spiceworks web server. Uh, your Spiceworks web server. And it could take a long time. So what we've decided to do is pull this down cache this information. I'll show you exactly how you can get the most, the biggest bang for your buck. But we've gotten pretty good feedback. I, in fact, by pretty good, I mean overwhelming feedback that uh, thank you for, for doing the caching. So when, we, when you want to deploy something, let's say you want to deploy Adobe Flash. We're going to go deploy once. Choose our targets. We're going to choose from Spiceworks. Now, if, since we have Spiceworks configured, this is going to pull up the groups that were last synced. So now I'm actually looking at, let's come down to, I've got a, a group called uh, Old Adobe Flash IE. These are the computers that have um, an old version of Adobe Flash. And I can go ahead and just uh, deploy to, I'll just, I'll just choose Hannibal for right now. And say OK. Uh, and then we'll, we'll come back to that screen. So obviously you can see how I've pulled that down from this target, down from Spiceworks. So we have had one, one request, only one, but it, it was a, a big enough, it was important enough that we actually made a change, and that is 
we had one user that said, I liked it the old way. Yes, it took a long time to pull down the targets, but I would like to go back. I don't want to have anything cached. If you feel strongly about that, there is a way that you can, that you can um, revert to the old method if you want. And the old method is where every time you select your targets, it's going to do a query of, of Spiceworks and pull those targets down at that time. Take a long time, but if you want that, by all means, uh, either hit, hit us up right here. If there's enough requests, I'll walk you through that, or just send us a request an email to our support site. So, uh, if you really want to know, once again, I'm going to come back here. You can change your sync interval uh, by four hours. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and hit sync now, and you can see what we're doing. It sees that there's 41 groups, Spiceworks groups, and then it just starts to sync. And you can see kind of how long this takes, just in my environment. And we don't have that many. We have 154 computers in this environment. Do the math. If you have a lot of computers, this could take a while. This is why you want to, this is why you want to optimize your syncing. Now, uh, because we're doing the syncing now, and you choose your targets from the cache, it's going to make it much faster. However, there is one, I want to just talk to you about one little unasked question. I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And that is, when you schedule using link to, I'm going to show you that right now. Let's say we want to schedule Adobe Flash, all IE, this package, to be, to, uh, to be rolled out. Let's see, Flash IE, we'll call this. And the targets. Now, you're not going to specify the target computers. You're going to use link to. And we're going to choose uh, a Spiceworks group. Now, when you specify the group that you want, do, 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 do. did I see that? There it is, an old Adobe Flash IE. You can see where the last sync was, 1007. When you, by the way, you can sync now if you want, but when you say okay to this, that's your target. When this kicks off, so let's say we wanted to kick this off um, tonight at 11 p.m., Thursday, July 9th, 11 p.m. Guess what? When we deploy this, because we're doing the link to, and the, what the link to means, uh, the, the, the benefit of using the link to is that what, whatever source you specify, in this case we're specifying a Spiceworks group, it populates that group, the members of that group at that time. This is the only time that uh, PDQ deploy is not going to use the cache. It's actually going to query Spiceworks. So you might have this set for 11 o'clock, but you'll notice that it actually kicked off at maybe 11.04 or 11.05. That's because however long it takes to query the members of that group at that time, um, that's just for the link to. And we're doing that just so that we, we know we're getting the latest information for your schedule in, in Spiceworks. So once again, link to will actually not pull from cache. It will update the cache after it, after it grabs that, uh, after it does that, effectively a new sync. All right. If you want to get the latest and greatest information, for example, let me just hurry and uh, I'll show you this. Let's create a new custom group. I'm going into Spiceworks. I'm going to create a new group. And uh, we'll just say, you know, my new group. We'll match. And I'm just going to come on down. What should we look for, JJ? How about, we'll just do install, how about just a application, installed application. There we go. <laughs> or do Java or? Uh... Yeah, we'll just do Java. Sure, we'll just say Java for right now. Sounds good. My new, <laughs> my new Java group. All right, so what I'm trying to do here, my new Java group, yada, yada. We'll just hit save. Or whatever. So um, we've now got a new group. It's saving anyway. Oh, whatever. Or oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, here's our Spiceworks saving. OK, 
Okay, the group is created. Now I'm going to come back in here. If we try to, de to deploy to this group, obviously, we're not going to see it. Why? Because it hasn't, we haven't synced over yet. So let's uh, just say deploy again, yada, yada. Choose target, Spiceworks. My new Java group is not there. So you're saying, hey, I just created a new group. Now you can go back into preferences and sync if you want, or you obviously have the opportunity to sync now. And syncing now does the same thing it does if you went into preferences, Spiceworks. And that's just saying, hey, right now, let's grab this. You can see instead of 41 groups, we have 42, so it's picking that up. And it's going to populate, it's gonna populate uh, all those groups. So that's a way that you can make sure to get the latest and greatest information. But tinker with, um, tinker with the syncing. Figure out what's best for your environment. Not, not all environments are created equal. We've had some customers that it takes about four hours actually to sync up all of their groups. And then um, we, have, we have users that say, oh, no, it syncs up in about two minutes, so it's just fine. Uh, also, if you are finding that you have a lot of, uh, that it does take a long time in Spicework, even just now you saw how long it took us to save that group, there's a, real, there's a really good uh, how-to I've referenced several times, written, um, it's in the Spiceworks community on how to speed up Spiceworks. And I'd recommend that you go out there, in fact, Recommend that you hit the how-tos on the Spiceworks community. They're fantastic. Well, at least the ones that I've used and seen are. I'm sure there's some out there that aren't that good. But you'll be able to see if they've been voted up. Anyway, Shane, Ian, do, do, you have have any? do you have a link for that? Oh, you just look for that. I, I, for that one, uh, just do a Google search. Just do a Google search. Right. Yeah, you just go, you just go, to, just go do a, you know, how to speed up. <laughs> Spiceworks. Speeding up spice works. We've got several posts. Yeah, and there's a how to, and um, I mean, I think there's quite yeah, there's quite a few out there, but it's been it's really good. I'm not logged on here. That's all good. Yeah, check those how to's out. All right. So you, you can see now we've we've synced it up. We can go down to my new Java group right there. That's how you get the latest and greatest, folks. We made this so that it's a lot faster for you. Um, but that you still have the, the flexibility to work with what you need to. Um, make sure you get the latest release of Deploy. This does work in free mode, by the way. We made sure to, to have the Spiceworks integration work even if you're using the free mode of PDQ Deploy. So rock on. If you have any questions, let us know. JJ, do you, or Annalisa, do you think we need to cover anything else? I'm used to having Lex to make fun of. Uh, I, I can't think of anything right now, unless we have something with uh, inventory. Um, no, I mean, uh, in, not, not really. The, the, really, the, the primary integration here is what, what people have, have, have a, had asked for years ago, and that's why we, we put this out, was the ability to, to deploy, you know, to deploy packages to members of Spiceworks groups. Mm -hmm. So that's where that integration comes in. The integration is there within PDQ Deploy, not within inventory. Well, hey, you guys have been a very uncaptive audience. Rock on. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, next week Lex will be here. I think Lex is out hiking right now. So Not a single question from anybody. Way it, to go. It, it works. Spice works, <laughs> spice, the Spice no, works it, stuff works. It does. It does. So. Um, yeah, anyway. Camera two. Yeah, guys. Well, thanks. Talk to you later. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. Um, be sure to catch us. We'll be back next week, next Thursday, same time, same place. Hope to see you there. Um, if you want to hit up our support site, support.adminarsenal.com. Catch you later.